Start. Hi, I'm Barry John. Welcome back. Over by Mabel Greer's diner. Meet He's Sergeant seriously there, Darcy. The Chief says you have to get five clues, huh, Stern? That's a pain in the ass. Wait, so I hear the streets are buzzing with wild Darcy's a CSI tonight. now. He says he wants at least five clues from this murder to hand to the judge, Stern, and you'd better not disappoint. Clues to hand to the yard. Did we suddenly switch genres or something? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've seen Matlock. I also don't like that, that he is seriously dead. Like, he is so dead, he is double dead. He was killed so hard that he died to death. That he did. And this poor dude right here. I have to put him out of his misery. With your amazing facing kick. Yep. But yeah, you can't normally get into this particular area because, joy of joys, the gate is locked. So you have to take that little uh, detour over the roofs. I thought they even switched to music that is reminiscent of crime investigation shows now. There are some bad guys back here to make up for it. Oh, poor guy. Eh, wildcat skeet shooting. Can't go wrong with that. And just a pick, health pickup just hidden there. Like somebody got, you know, hey, I can hide a health pack. I'll put this under this pipe and no one will ever find it. There's also another health pack at the end of this particular little outcropping. But no reason to go back, all the way back there in this particular level. Oh, and this guy here. He's got a weapon, he spawned, but he's not triggered as an enemy. Or rather, his AI scripting oh, Chino attack Darcy glitched out. He still counts as an enemy, though. Like, yeah, I just think he just saw Darcy coming and he went, you know what? Screw it. It's not going to work. I'm old, I'm tired, my joints hurt. Just, just arrest me. And then getting out is just simple as jumping over a two-story tall chain-link fence with the barbed wire on top of it. Now that guy was actually pretty badass there, because he took a knee to the groin and didn't flinch. He has mastered the ancient ways of karate and forcing your testicles back up into your body. Wait. Uh... Darcy's kick so powerful she kicked a guy through a chain link fence. Not once, but twice. Stop, <laughs> nice action roll there, buddy. Please. Oh yeah, the enemies are going to get a lot more uh, proactive about dodging now. Not that it helps them all that much. Nope. But, although I'm making this look relatively easy, this level's actually a pretty sharp spike in difficulty from previous levels. I've commented about my death montage video earlier in previous videos, but this particular mission had... Brothers, oh, it's that cop horse stern that Braddock talked about! Let's go! As I was saying, uh, this particular mission oh, had yes. nine death videos, or death clips, that I added to the montage, consisting of almost a full minute. But thankfully that's that. 
She's no Batman, hey, but I guess it's good enough. Property. Official business. I gotta see the owner of these premises. Oh? You got a warrant? No. Then if you come any closer, we'll be within our rights to blast your ass to New York! Now beat it! I'll see you again, asshole. Now, ah, your mama! Hold on a second here. She identified herself... She's identifiable as a police officer. She's asked to speak to the owner of the premises. Uh, she doesn't need a warrant to do that. Well, maybe the owner of the premises doesn't want to come out. Yeah, but this, like is, it. this deserves further investigation. Especially when you saw the wildcat in the background when I talked to that guy. Totally legit, you guys. Yeah, so let's talk to the Intruder owner. Intruder alert! You there! Is there any particular reason why you violated my property? Sir, there are armed gang members on the beach. The UCPD are coming around. The UCPD are not welcome. Did my man at the gate not tell you? Uh, well... I just bought this house, and I heard the UCPD killed some people here during a hostage situation. So get out before I report your ass! Uh, did I kill people getting Kordensky out? I bet that the UCPD rolled up and just killed the guys that you had arrested execution style. Uh, wouldn't surprise me in the least. But time to be sneaky ish. And this music, it's like the entrance to an episode of Cold Case or something. Booked, creep. Oh, if you you see that little puddle of water hanging there? It's actually hanging over the edge of the uh, little, a little raised section of the parking space. So technically that puddle of water is floating about two inches off the two inches off the ground. We warned ya! Oh jeez. Yep. All these guys have machine guns. And now Darcy has more machine guns. Can never have enough. Oh no, hey. As usual, I was about to say. Yeah. You'd think somebody would clean that out more often. I think it's the exact opposite. Every day someone pops up and goes, Oh man, someone stole our emergency gun again. Jeez, okay, I'll get a get new busted, one. Punk. This particular car actually unlocks later in the mission. So if you want to ride, there it is. I'm telling you, man, us wildcats are going to take over this whole city. Remember who you work for, brother. We got a tight plan for these downtown kidnappings. I know that, fool. But what we got going on here is a street invasion. Boss is trying to flush out some old chump called Roper and some cop flunky of his. Yeah? Well, let's hope they turn up. Last thing I want is that city scum interfering with the Brotherhood's plans uptown. Well, these guys may or may not know who Darcy is. They're awfully indignant though, aren't they? They're just really angry about things. Yeah, true that. But don't worry, people. This is going to be the last time we're on this particular map. And I keep forgetting that the access is over here and not at the top of the motel. But it's called the Silvery Moon, apparently. Mainly because the only view you get from the motel is that giant moon. Yep. Oh yeah, power up down there in the corner. And more of those amazing climbable walls that I never noticed before. Spider Darcy, Spider Darcy, does whatever a Darcy can. 
which is mainly jumping around, running, and punching people in the face. And kicking them in the balls. You busted punk! Yeah. Rooftop shootouts. Freeze! Rooftop skeet shooting. Freeze! Was it a wild guy that fell down like two floors back there in the background? Uh, yeah, I think. I. I will never get over that moon, seriously. Yeah. I keep expecting, you know, Link to show up at some point or another. Yeah, I know. Overused joke. Let's run this shit into the ground. A bit like that moon, because it's clearly coming crashing down. Why isn't anyone r alerted by this? CPD is at an end, cop! Wildcats control Union City now! The guy ran off the edge of the building. Alright, just debating the best way to get down from here. And I missed the wire, damn it. He managed to catch Darcy at Darcy, and he was just so confused. He had no idea what to do. There goes I shit. How the hell is it that some poor schmuck gets ripped up by 100 bullets and nobody sees a damn thing? Because the 100 very skilled snipers. They say that nobody saw nothing, officer. I guess they always say that, though, huh? Yeah, it could be one of those guys where you know the guy Forensics fell on ain't his even floor a hundred yet. times. This police department sucks, man. Well, yes, officer, we know. We know. Oops. Well, damn scumbag! Ah, uh, the UCPD. Got you locked down, punk. Hey, at least they have have their march in lockstep. Ah, uh, so well, well it seems we got one hell of a dead body. Medic says the guy had hundreds of bullet wounds. Damn this thing. I tell you, Stern, that victim was not dropped by a couple of gang hoods. This was almost military. Well, that definitely... Yeah. <laughs> because the military is well known for just, you know, ganging up on one guy and shooting him 100 plus times. What is this, New York? He you roughly CPD matches history, the Lord description Lord. of the suspect. Just keep firing. Fire. No, no, this isn't Los Angeles. But there was that nice dapper gentleman in a suit, so I suppose it's reasonable to you know, ask him if he saw something. I mean, look, he's got a, oh, he's got a nice vantage point up here. Let's surprise him. Carefully, carefully. I think it's this guy's birthday.
And... Aliens, I told you. I freaking told you, aliens. Control. Case clue number one, found. Good work, Stern. Okay, Stern. Uh, None of you. Uh... Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, the... as you probably saw in the normal video, well, I'd like to introduce you to the three amigos. Unfortunately, I kept thinking these two cops were supposed to chat about something, but they didn't. They're all business. All the time. I gotta say that there are a lot of power-ups right over here. I was about to say... At least three, huh? Five. Oh, jeez. Just double check and make sure there wasn't one down in there either. Power up extravaganza. Those looks like some dead bodies over there. Eh, yeah, dead bodies are a dime a dozen in Union City. True. This lady ain't saying anything. You booked, creep. Cop scum! You would stand in the way of destiny. Raise them, Mister. I ain't gonna give you a second chance. Drop whatever weapons you have and hit the floor. Uh huh. Looks like I'm gonna have to get mean. Stop. Police. Okay. Darcy just pulled a machine gun. Why are you? You think you can kill a wildcat and live? Ooh. We're here to learn you otherwise, cop. Stop. You're going to learn me otherwise. Police. Police. He's gonna educate you. When Darcy's the one with the machine gun. Well, maybe you will learn about the value of human life after becoming a multiple count murderer. Right? I don't know. Let's go grab a shotgun and take away his toys. Yeah. Okay, this is a train station. Why are there... Why is there barbed wire on the fence? So no one steals the trains, of course. There's nothing even interesting on top of the police station in this level either. You busted punk. Because honestly, this particular level is just built around the plot mission. And the X File style mysterious alien man who disappears into a cloud of lightning. Pretty much. There's probably some sort of plot importance there. Yeah. This is probably why I should have had you watch the actual core mission video before we started recording this. No, I prefer it this way. Okay. But up here? Grenades. No better place to store them. So someone basically dug a hole and built a house in it. No, that's a subway station. Oh. Why does the subway station look like that? Probably because it's just you know, the top of the station and there's stuff underground. But why would you even have a part of a subway station sticking up on overground? I, I mean... Entrance? But why does it have like three floors? Perhaps because there's an elevator and they need 